you know what would be a nice addition to Africa? A little leopard action. Africa's famous for leopard. You could have a leopard in that tree right there just kind of looking down at you. Hello everybody. Welcome to the Sasika Safari Trophy Lodge Tour. If you look uh, in the background, it's nighttime, uh, which is kind of cool. Looks cool all lit up. But the surface area is 2,126 square meters. So you times that basically by three per feet. And you got like hmm, 6,400 feet, basically. There's 182 plaques to mount your favorite kills on. 148 guns displays, which was really difficult to fill back in the day when this lodge came out because you only had about 20 different kinds of guns. And 63 stands that you can use for your favorite uh, kills. You can, some of them are available as multi-mounts as well, which are awesome. So tons of room to display everything. Welcome to the tour. Let's take a look. should slow down the doors in this place. So if you go to view mode, you can see all the places where that's gun racks up there. This place has a lot of gun racks, which is cool. Um, yeah, if you just stay in view mode, everything that you've um, it does show everything that you've mounted. It just doesn't show the empty ones. So that's how you have to remember about that. So you get two big ones here at the entrance. Pillar right in the middle. Some nice stands here. Sofa's a cool little reading den over here. Which is nice. Library books. Lots of plaques. All over. There's a side door here. So that balcony runs around here. You can go out the side door here. Guns. A couple more. A little stand for a rabbit there. That's a weapon stand. That's a weapon stand. Uh, I usually put crossbows there. Cool spotlight there. Got a fan going. So that's just kind of a den uh, lobby over there. Sit and relax, talk to people. Your imaginary friends, I guess. You can invite people, you can share your lodge with people. So guns up there, another big plaque. A little gaming area, you can play some pool. You can't, but you can. If they added that, that might be kind of cool. If you could actually play pool with your friends on there. I don't know, bar. You don't really need to eat anything because you don't have health, really, as far as food goes. But, if you did. There we go, got some meat and drinks in there. Spirit. A couple bunnies or bird mounts there. Some more food over there. Shelves are kind of bare. You can actually go back here, sink. Some wine, it says Lodge Wine, okay. 
Odds one. More Lodge wine. It's all included with the price of your safari. And this area is kind of cool. There's a fire pit covered with some greenery. Go out there. We'll explore this some more later. There's another entrance to it over here in the hallway. Trunk. Some more larger mounts there. There's the front door you can see. You can mount things all down the hallway. Some bigger, your more favorite ones, gun racks. Smaller mounts for smaller animals there. Three big ones down the main corridor. Go down here. Here's a swimming pool. Never need to go for a swim. There's some showers over there as well. All well done. Because it's hot, you know, those hot savanna nights. Another gun rack, another gun rack. Some big, large ammo plaques here. This leads into the dining room. More big plaques. Gun racks below some medium and large packs over here. Another bar. Enjoy a beverage of choice. Your choice is basically spirit. Spirit uh, soft drink or maybe those are... Uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe those are vodka. Let's just call it vodka. Vodka lime drinks. Some more plaques there with some plates. Nice fireplace there. Large plate. Two large stand mounts. Huge table for eating. Another trophy mount, another small one there. Leads outside. Back to the pool. Like I said, places to lounge, stay out of the hot African sun, get some showers there. You can't hop over this, so. Like the Hotel California, you can uh, you can always check in, but you can never leave type of thing. So tons of plaques. I think there's over a hundred of them. We'll look at the stats. And mounts. Go in here. So that was down to the dining area and the bar. Put your dog, your dog Fido or uh, Cujo or whatever you want to call it there. Bunch of gun racks, some larger mounts here. This is like the display room. A lot of people put their favorite or best. Uh, Mounts here. Best kills. Another door here. This is basically a weapons room. Display all your weapons. Mount some animals, some of your favorites. Some artwork. Back in the day when they first made this thing, you had to like keep on reusing your weapons there wasn't that many weapons now there's tons of weapons so you got creative but uh there's another stand there huge mount for something large that you like this is basically diamond kill alley type of thing another one kind of mirrored 
That one has a large one with more weapons. This one has more mounts, fewer weapons. This room's a nice little relaxation, kind of, you know, have a few drinks by the fire. It's a conversation room. Mount your favorite weapon. A few animals here all around. More weapons. And then a larger one, one of your favorites can go there. Two little smaller ones. Nice little room once you, you know, fill it all out. Just gonna leave that open. Now this is the master bedroom and it is a master. Like more than enough room for you and your favorite companion spend some time with. Pretty luxurious. Got a flat screen in there. More mounts. Large mount there. Some weapons. Here you go. Some more. Some more of your favorite wall. Head mounts. Another large one. Here, huge master bathroom. Really nice, simple elegance. Pretty cool detail. Nice jacuzzi tub to have some fun. And still a little relaxing after a hard day of hunting. That's always nice there. Relax, little jacuzzi after a hard day of hunting. Little mount there on the table. Right here, kind of a sitting area. Talk and chat, have a few cigars or vape or whatever you choose to do and that opens the fire pit. Which is cool. Just opens right out in here. This place, you can kind of sit down here by the fire. The hard day is hunting. Just kind of relax and sit there. Sit by the fire and think about uh, your day hunting. Warm your hands. A little bit of a chill in the air. Check your cell phone messages. Nice greenery. There's the bar by the entrance there again. Kind of just out the side there once you come in it's opposite the first bar on your right nice glass screen door there's the pool table again cool found some weapons Back in the lobby, kind of lounge area. Cool African theme details. Go around here. You're at the swimming pool. Access that. Shut that door out of there. This is the dining room. I don't know, South Africans anyway love barbecues. I don't see a barbecue anywhere, but uh, maybe I'm missing one. 
Don't want to let the animals in. Get some monkeys or something in here, a hyena. It is weird that they don't have a barbecue out here. I'm gonna have to talk to uh, the safari concierge or something. So where's the barbecue? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I don't really see a kitchen here either. Whereas in uh, the other ones. At least. Leighton Lake has a kitchen. Close up that door. That's about it. So plenty of room to store animals. I think this DLC is about $4.99 or $5.99. U.S. Or maybe $7.99 Canadian or something like that. Five pounds. It's not that expensive. But yeah, no kitchen. Is this a kitchen? Oh, it kind of is a kitchen. Okay. I take that back. A couple ovens in there cook it up, but I don't know. What are you going to do with all your big game? I think you need a barbecue still. It's a pretty weak kitchen if you ask me, but that's it. That is Saksika. Trophy Lodge. And we are basically... Back did I go in this one? This door, same thing goes out there. So there it is. Pretty cool. Close this door. Make sure everything's locked up tight. fences. They are just too high to jump over apparently. They are there for your protection so you don't get eaten by a lion or trampled by a, some kind of water buffalo. Or do you know what would be a nice addition to Africa? A little leopard action. Africa's famous for leopard. You could have a leopard in that tree right there just kind of looking down at you. That would be a cool addition. He actually did that. Put a little leopard in a tree looking down at you. But that's it. Sasika Trophy Lodge. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, it's raining. It's raining out there. But not in here. Okay. So thanks for watching. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other videos of uh, hunting, the hunting lodges, some of my best kills, little tours, just some tips and tricks of the game as well. Stay fantastic, and we'll see you again in the forests, savanna, and mountains of the hunter, Call of the Wild. Take care, everybody.